Welcome back to Smitty's Learning Room. Today we continue to have a look at the principles of training and specifically looking at the training thresholds. Having a look at the syllabus, we're looking at the focus question, how does training affect performance? And we're going to have a look at the dot point principles of training and coming down to training thresholds. We'll also have a look over here on the right hand side about how can training thresholds be applied to aerobic and resistance training. So let's start by having a look at the principles of training and we know from previous videos that uh, four other principles are progressive overload, specificity, reversibility and variety. Today we're looking at training thresholds and in a future video you'll look at warm up and cool down procedures. So these are all principles of training which can improve performance. If athletes wish to improve their aerobic fitness, they must have training at a sufficient intensity to be able to see gains in their aerobic system. Now, obviously we don't want this over too high intensity because this will fatigue quickly. So to understand training thresholds, we're going to explore the aerobic training zone concept. Now, for athletes to have an increase in aerobic fitness, they must train in the aerobic training zone. So if we have a look over here at the graph, um, we look at the lactic acid accumulation on the left here and we look at the percentage of the max heart rate on the right and down the bottom is the intensity at which the athletes will be training at. So obviously at rest it's pretty much zero and as we start to do some more exercise the lactic acid builds up and the heart rate is quite low. As we move between moderate and high intensity levels of um, exercise that's when we're in our aerobic training zone now the aerobic training zone ends at the anaerobic threshold where the body is trying to complete exercise at too high tense intensity so the aerobic training zone occurs between the aerobic threshold approximately 60 to 65 percent of the maximum heart rate and lactic acid levels of approximately two millimoles and the anaerobic threshold, which is approximately 80 to 85% of the heart rate, and the lactic acid levels are approximately 4 millimoles. So if we look here, this is about 60 to 65%, and this is 80 to 85% of the max heart rate for that training zone. For the athlete to start seeing um, improvements in their aerobic, they need to actually be training at or above that aerobic threshold. If they're training below that aerobic threshold, there will be minimal gains. The greatest aerobic training effect is experienced when training is done at about or at the anaerobic threshold, which is here, which is at quite a high intensity. And this is because the anaerobic threshold represents the maximum capacity of the aerobic energy system to produce energy. So once the intensity of the exercise increases above that threshold here, we're at a very high intensity and lactic acid energy systems becomes more dominant as opposed to the aerobic system. Athletes need to be careful not to train too far past the anaerobic threshold as too much intensity will cause the athlete to fatigue quite quickly. So if we have a look at how the principles of training in relation to the training thresholds are applied to aerobic and resistance training, we can start by looking at the aerobic training now, to look at applying training thresholds to aerobic training, this obviously means, as we said before, training within the aerobic training threshold. So that's 60 to sort of 80, 85% of maximum heart rate for that athlete. And also training at or about the anaerobic threshold to try and increase the performance of the aerobic system. When we look at applying training thresholds to resistance training, so that's basically strength training, we look at anaerobic energy production. So we look at doing exercises which can try and increase or activate our anaerobic energy production. Now remember that there are six principles of training. Training thresholds is just one of these principles, so it's important that you go back to Smitty's Learning Room and watch the videos on the other five principles of training to ensure that you've covered the whole dot point of the syllabus around principles of training.